Okay, so you just installed the update to Python, and now you've also installed PyCharm, and you're ready to start coding. Well, what do I do next? Well, one of the things you need to do is actually create a place for where your code's gonna go. Now, you can use the default folders, etc., but I always like to put my code somewhere I can find it. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna create a folder on my desktop. So I've just gone Command-Shift-N on my Mac, and I'm just gonna give this a folder name. And I'm just going to call it programming. Now what I would like to do is have all my code come in here so I can see it. Now to do that what we're going to do is set up a new project. So I've created a folder on my desktop. The next thing I'm going to do is actually create a new project. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to ask me where do I want to save it. Now I've just created this folder. I would like all my projects to go into this folder here. So I'm just going to click on my desktop, click on programming, and click on open. So when I create a new file and I save it, it'll appear in this folder. The next thing I'm going to do is just check on my interpreter. Now you should have Python 3 point something or above. All the tutorials that I've been working on and all the ones that are on my YouTube channel at the moment are for version 3 and above. So the current version 3.7, if you've got that, excellent. If not, you can go have a look on my YouTube channel for the tutorials on to update your Python engine. Once you've done that, you can then click on create. What this does is open up and creates a new project. The project itself actually doesn't have any files in it. If I click on this little arrow down here, you'll notice there's no files in here. If I go and look on my desktop in this folder here, you'll notice that this folder here, Ben V, is in there which has got some bins and library sort of information. What I want to do is actually create my very first program. So I'm going to click on program, I'm going to right mouse click and go new and then Python file. This IDE designed by JetBrains can also do HTML files and a few others as well. Then you click on Python file and then it'll ask us for a file name. So in here you can actually put tutorial 01 and press enter. You'll notice now that in our list underneath programming, you can see the tutorial 01. In here, we can actually place a comment. It is best to have your name in all your code. And then I can put a command line in like print and maybe print my name out. So when I go command S and save the file, if I look in the programming file now, you'll see there's a tutorial 01PY for Pi, and you can actually see the text file with the Python extension that has my code in it. To run your code, all you need to do is right mouse click and then tell it to run tutorial 01. So this is the Python file, which is this tutorial here. And you see in the output window at the bottom, your name will appear. When you've finished coding, make sure you save your work, Command S, and then you can go up to PyCharm and go quick PyCharm. Click on exit. Now there's several ways I can actually open my file again. I can actually go into the folder where I've saved my work, double click the file. This will open up the PyCharm IDE and also open up to where my file was and in the last state of my code when I saved it. At this point of time, I can actually open it in a new window or I can just open it in this window. And you notice that my program's there. If I want to start a second program, I can always right mouse click on programming, right mouse click and click on new, Python file, and then I can give it a different name. So it could be tutorial 02, enter. You'll notice in my folder now, I have tutorial 01 and tutorial 02. If I close down PyCharm, I can also open my programs again by just clicking on the PyCharm icon if it's on your toolbar, or I can go find PyCharm through search, and I can just open it from here. And this will open you back in your old project. If I wanna see tutorial one, I can just double click that. If the tabs are closed, I can just double click it and it'll open. If I want to run this program again, remember to right mouse click and run the tutorial. After that, I can hit the play button and run it as many times as I like. So I hope you found this tutorial useful in managing your files. 
and how to open a new project, save your work, and also retrieve your work for the next programming session. If you found it useful, remember to give the tutorial a like, subscribe to my channel, and also have a look around for other useful Python programming tutorials.